Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We had a huge response to our sloth rock and a lot of people commenting on what kind of animal rocks that they would like to see. The number one requested rock, try to say that five times fast, was a flamingo. So I'm gonna show you today how to break down the shape of a flamingo so you can make your very own flamingo rock painting. We're gonna go ahead and get started. If you have acrylic paints, feel free to use acrylic paints. You do not have to use pens. I use them because I feel like it kind of expedites my process a little bit for these videos. So for the flamingo today, I've got my pink here. I'm gonna start by blocking out the basic shapes of the flamingo. This is how I do most of my animal rocks. It's probably my number one tip is to just start with your basic shapes and then you go in and add in details um, and fine tune your shape. So for a flamingo, I'm gonna build them this way because they're tall, right? Um, I'm gonna do a sideways teardrop like so on my rock for the body at the bottom. And then another teardrop, but tilting a little bit down near the top of my rock. And depending on how tall your rock is, is how long in length, you know, some people really exaggerate the legs. If you've got a really tall rock, you can get some really long legs on there. Now, to connect your head and body, you're gonna do a, an S curve, but it's backwards. So we're gonna start here on the back side of the neck. Make sure you guys can see that okay. And we're gonna curve out and around and back to the front side of the body like so. And then we're gonna repeat that on the back side like so. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in what we've got so far so we can check out our shape. And you, this is just the first layer of paint. So it's got just our basic shape and we can make plenty of adjustments from here if we need to. But that's just how you block out your basic shape for your flamingo. So we've got just a, a simple, and you know what, you'd probably do almost this same shape if you were gonna do like a swan, just maybe a slightly smaller head. You could pull off a swan, just put it right into water. Now, before I put my legs on, it's funny, I almost have like this little water line on here. I didn't even pull blue yet. But I'm gonna have him kind of splashing in the water just a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue at the bottom of my rock here. Oh, that's a fine tip. I don't want that, that will take too long to color. A little bit of blue here at the bottom of the rock, just to give him some place. And you could base coat your whole rock with like a, a sky blue or some more scenery, but this tutorial is just to kind of show the basic shape of creating your flamingo itself. Um, and from there, you can kind of develop this into a complete scene or design. So I'm seeing some of the comments. I will answer questions at the end. Sometimes the people that watch me often um, answer for me, which is fantastic. Um, I am using my Posca pens today. Um, they're great because they're um, water-based, so you can do some blending and things with them, and they're also non-toxic, which is awesome because I paint a lot with my kiddos. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and add on our beak. I'm not gonna do my legs yet because I wanna let this blue set up. And we're gonna just start a beak. Now, the beak on a flamingo is kind of long and it kind of points downwards. So I like to give myself, like, where am I aiming? How big do I want my beak to be? It's easier to make it bigger. You can't make it smaller. So I give myself kind of a little point here, just a little dot. I know that's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see it, of where I'm aiming for. And then I come in and add my top. And see, that didn't even go as high as I wanted it to go. There you go. You can always adjust. And then the bottom part of my beak. And then just a little round tip there like so. All right, and we're gonna line this whole thing anyways. So we'll go in and add more crisp lines to the outline of a, the flamingo itself as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and add on our legs. Now, the legs on the flamingo, like I showed earlier on my sketch, but if you missed that, um, you can make the four go backwards. It's like a backwards four if you're pulling up one of those legs. So the knee kind of joint bends backwards. So we're gonna lay down our front leg first. And I'm pretty close to the bottom, so this actually works better because my legs can kind of disappear in the water and you can just kind of 
believe they're a little bit longer. And the way we're gonna do that is by actually making our second leg longer and then also they have like a knobby knee joint on them. So you're going to be able to just give the illusion he's standing deeper in the water by putting that knee joint kind of close to the water here, like so. And then we're gonna do the back leg going out and we want the, the top part to be about equal to this before it crosses out. So out to the back like so. And then we'll have it kick forward like that. I kind of miss having, we're gonna, we're gonna make his front leg or his standing leg a little longer cause it's gonna disappear into the water. Just didn't want to get too much of that blue. It's almost dry. Now, if you ever go over a color, just doodle off your tip. You can see my paper here just to get that extra blue off. All right, so we're gonna let that color set because that's definitely gonna need another coat, okay? So while that's going, we can kind of start lining the rest of our bird here. And I never looked up what color of feet my that flamingos have. Does anybody know? If you know, comment. Are they orange? Or are they more of like a black? Or more of a beaky kind of color? Like a peachy kind of color? Does anybody know? I'm gonna start lining. If anybody knows, I'll try to watch the comments to see if anybody answers that question or if anybody's, you know, watching on their desktop and wants to look it up for me really quick. Um, so I'm gonna add my eye and I'm gonna start lining. Now this is the time if you wanted to change your shape at all you could um like so you can have like a secondary wing on here that maybe kind of kicks off to the side a little bit i kind of like the shape that i've got so i'm not too worried about it but make sure that you uh adjust your lines before you do your outline once you do your outline it's a little bit harder to do so i'm just going to go along here now and line my bird Can you tell it's hard to talk when I'm outlining? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see here. Flamingo feathers. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Orange to red for the feet. Thank you for looking that up. Okay, so we're gonna go with, I've got like this color orange. Actually, this one's kind of more of an orangey red color. So we're gonna go ahead and just add, we won't get too crazy with the details, but we'll kick his foot like that. There we go. And we'll fix that up with some lining. Thank you for looking that up. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, and then the front side of his beak is kind of got a black tone to it. And then the top, it just depends on the graphic that you see. Some of, sometimes they show them white, sometimes they show them pale pink. Maybe we'll do it in orange to match our foot. All right, so we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna actually outline this little knee on both of these, because it's really kind of a defining thing on a flamingo, is that little knobby knee that they have. And when you decide here on your legs, which one's gonna be the front and which one's gonna be the back, you gotta make sure you have the other one disappear behind it, like so. Okay, and then we can make kind of this little water ripple line with some white here once that black fades. And I was gonna do a second coat on that pink, but I'll get to it in a second. So we're getting close there. Um, in order to line this foot, since it's kind of small, um, it's kind of like a hard to line with that one. I've got a smaller, sometimes I use these. This is the Micron PN. It's just a little bit of a finer tip um, because if you are using the Posca 1Ms, this is a 1M, but over time your tip will start to wear down. I mean, we are painting on a rough surface, a rock. Um, you can get replacement tips for these. Um, sometimes I have swapped them out for other colors, like my brown. I didn't use my brown a lot, so I rinsed the tip off my brown and put it in here before. Um, but I buy my black one M's and I kind of wear them down and then 
change them out. But this is a little bit more of a fine tip for me. And I'm just going to kind of sketch on that foot. There we go. Something like that. They probably have like a little claw. I don't know. I'm going to have to go looking up flamingo feet after this. I should have paid attention. We need our water line here in the back. Like so. All right. I need a little water spot where this kind of comes into the water to break it apart. Here we go. Okay. So Jenny saying same color as the leg. Well, well, he's fine for now. You can look them up. There's lots of variations. Make your flamingo feet however you feel comfortable. Um, I am gonna go back in here on the top part of the beak and add in a little bit of white. Cause the one I looked up had that and I always like my little highlight in the eye like so. And that is a simple flamingo rock. Like I said, if you're doing a whole scene, feel free to add a sun in the background or a palm tree or some greenage or whatever you want to do. But the basic shape of your flamingo um, is just that. So for those who love flamingos, you can definitely correct me on my coloring, but whether the colors are exactly the same or not, you definitely can get the shapes right from the tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to be back again with a uh, panda really soon. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like the page and everything so that you don't miss any of the tutorials coming up this month. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.